Hi, I'm Dr. Pennywit, and I'm coming to you from Therapy Suite 1 here at the Pennywit Center. You know, in this very Therapy Suite, what we do is we help to set people free. You know, when, when anyone comes into this office, they have a difficulty, they have a problem. And it is our life's goal, my wife, Linda, and myself, to help set people free. And people come in all shapes and sizes, and the difficulties they have can be varied. And really, we've dealt with just about every kind of uh, difficulty that a person can imagine. But one difficulty that we deal with just about more than any other is the addiction to pornography. We specialize in sexual addictions here, but especially pornography. Pornography is very widely available on the internet. Thousands and thousands and thousands of sites pander this uh, pornography, and it is available for free. It doesn't take a youngster or an adult more than just a couple of minutes to find a site where they can view pornography. And for the longest time, way back when, before the advent of the internet, the only thing that was really available were Playboy magazines and the like. And only men were allowed to go buy them. So people who were would look at those underage people, they'd probably have to find them under their father's mattress or stashed away in a closet somewhere. But now it's available on the internet and just about any adult or child of any age can gain access to it. Now, for a while we thought it was harmless. Many, many years ago I remember hearing parents say, oh yes, he has a playboy under his bed. We know it's there, but it's harmless. He's growing up. He's just curious. Well, what we didn't realize then that we realize now was that when you view pornography with your eyes, it creates a chemical in your brain. It's actually a chemical imbalance, but it is a chemical that is up to 100 times more addictive than crack cocaine. That's right. This chemical is highly addictive, and studies have shown that once is all it really takes to become addicted to pornography. So when one views pornography with their eyes, it creates that chemical, and that starts a process. I can't give my entire PowerPoint presentation here now, because there are some explicit, explicit words that I would have to use that I don't want to put out over the internet. But pornography, becoming addicted to it, is a problem that women and men alike, as I say, there are just as many women involved with pornography as there are men. And there are just as many children. In fact, one study that just came out suggests that over 80-85% of young people between the ages of 11 to 22 years old view pornography at least two times a week for 20 minutes a day. This is far too much. And the reason is, is because once an individual realizes that they're addicted to pornography, it's too late because they have that chemical addiction. And what happens with like an addict, say a heroin addict or a cocaine addict, when they try to come off of the medic, off of the drug that they're on, it's very difficult. They go through withdrawal symptoms. We see our patients go through withdrawal symptoms uh, that a normal person would who is on heroin or cocaine. They get heart palpitations, they get sweats, they get blinding headaches, they, they become irritable, they become nauseous. Um, is because the brain is used to that chemical. And when that chemical is taken away from the brain, that's where the withdrawal symptoms start. Now, many people, in fact, most of the people that we deal with, they're married. Husbands, wives, and the maid is obviously very distraught over such things. Well, here at the Pennywood Center, what we do, we help to set up a support structure. A support structure. We have to realize that the person that comes in, well, they're already addicted. They know it. The mate knows it. And so the time for shame is over. We need to roll up our sleeves. We need to get our, our material together. We need to determine what we're going to do to set up that support structure. And if the mate knows that the individual is already addicted, 
and they need to help, they usually come around pretty quickly. When we have that support structure, we try to plug up as many holes as we can. And what I mean by that is we provide um, advice on how to block internet access. We try to provide uh, situations where when an individual feels like they're tempted to go to the internet to view pornography, that they have a phone number they can call, a trusted friend. Now usually the best individual is the mate, the mate of uh, whoever is addictive. Now if the mate can't do it, we try to find another individual, somebody who is maybe older, godly, or somebody that has been through it. We can offer online courses as well that help an individual to understand exactly what pornography is and what it does to the body. Now at the same time, um, the, the individual who was on pornography, they know that what they're doing is wrong. You don't need to tell them, well this is a wrong thing. They already know that. They're seeking a way out. So helping to set up a support structure, helping to set up a support system that they know that they can turn to somebody for help is just what the Pennywood Center is all about. So go to FortWorthChristianCounseling.com, go to DallasChristianCounseling.com, give us a call and let us help you to set up that support structure. Let us help you out of pornography. Now many times the mate of an individual says, why did my husband, why did my wife choose to do that? Well the answer really is more simple than most people think. If we know what a person's temperament is, then we'll know what their temperament needs are. Individuals make decisions based on temperament need. Well, why do you do the things you do? To try to meet a temperament need. If we can discuss and discover why the individual who turned to pornography turned to it to begin with, what their temperament need is, then we can help the mate and help the individual, and I call them victims because they are, help the individual, help the victim, help the, the family, help the wives and husbands to meet, help them meet their temperament needs in a godly way rather than an ungodly way. Sometimes it's a slow process, but it can be done. Give us a call, FortWorthChristianCounseling.com, DallasChristianCounseling.com. Be blessed, and we'll see you next time.